Hello friends, my name is Aisha. Welcome to Scenic Beauty, the place where future leaders come to get inspired. If you are not subscribed yet, you are missing out. Once upon a time, there was a rich king who had four wives. He loved the fourth wife the most and adorned her with rich robes and treated her to the finest of delicacies. He gave her nothing but the best. He also loved the third wife very much and was always showing her off to neighboring kingdoms. However, he feared that one day she would leave him for another. He also loved his second wife. She was his confidant and was always kind, considerate and patient with him. Whenever the king faced a problem, he could confide in her, and she would help him get through the difficult times. The king's first wife was a very loyal partner and had made great contributions in maintaining his wealth and kingdom. However, he did not love the first wife. Although she loved him deeply, he hardly took notice of her. One day, the king fell ill and he knew his time was short. He thought of his luxurious life and wondered, I now have four wives with me, but when I die, I'll be all alone. Thus. He asked the fourth wife, I have loved you the most, endowed you with the finest clothing and showered great care over you. Now that I am dying, will you follow me and keep me company? No way, replied the fourth wife, and she walked away without another word. Her answer cut like a sharp knife right into his heart. The sad king then asked the third wife, I have loved you all my life. Now that I am dying. Will you follow me and keep me company? No, replied the third wife. Life is too good. When you die, I'm going to remarry. His heart sank and turned cold. He then asked the second wife, I have always turned to you for help and you've always been there for me. When I die, will you follow me and keep me company? I'm sorry, I can't help you out this time, replied the second wife. At the very most. I can only send you to your grave. Her answer came like a bolt of lightning, and the king was devastated. Then a voice called out, I'll leave with you and follow you no matter where you go. The king looked up, and there was his first wife. She was so skinny as she suffered from malnutrition. Greatly grieved, the king said, I should have taken much better care of you when I had the chance. In truth, we all have four wives in our lives. Our fourth wife is our body. No matter how much time and effort we lavish in making it look good, it will leave us when we die. Our third wife is our possessions, status and wealth. When we die, it will all go to others. Our second wife is our family and friends. No matter how much they have been there for us, the furthest they can stay by us is up to the grave. And our first wife is our soul often neglected in pursuit of wealth, power and pleasures of the ego. However, our soul is the only thing that will follow us wherever we go. So cultivate, strengthen and cherish it now, it is your greatest gift to offer the world. According to you, what is the moral of the story? It would be a great discussion for us to have in the comments. If the story inspired you and you have learned something from it, then like it and also share it with those whom you think it will help thank you for spending some time with me make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss my next story you can talk to me on all social media and ask your question i have hand picked these videos which i recommend you watch next